Today is the 7th of July and James and I are catching up to share the updates that we have in regards to the solution validation exercise that's to be done for project quality dash MVC. Um, and we'll hit the agenda now. So James, just to share like a context for the points in the agenda that I was um, watching the videos in the CMS uh, research, the Doctil project, and I figured, uh, I mean, I, I saw that you also kind of um, asked users uh, some questions about test coverage history for projects. Mm -hmm. So that made me wonder that, is it something that's very related to project quality dash? Uh, yeah, well, um, we will link to that dashboard from the project quality dash. So the tile for, or the, the data for the test coverage history will link over to that. Um, and so that's what, Okay. Those interview questions and that experience is what told me that where we have put things in the repository analytics is not where someone would look. Um, even though it's related to a repository, it's more they think about CI CD when they think about testing. And so that's why I think that it belongs in that area, but that's something that we can test as part of this. Right. Uh, so I had the same observation, and that's why I brought this up. Okay, so if this is not the same thing, then the next question, you kind of answered that as well, that if it is not same, then how can we club it? So you mentioned that we are linking them uh, to each other. Okay, so um, the next thing is if you go back to the uh, discussion guide, if that's open for you. Mm -hmm. uh, in the scenario section, I made some changes. So I kind of uh, like, I added some uh, context to the scenario and then I changed the sequence for the qu uh, questions that we're asking. So I thought that maybe we should uh, keep all the leading questions towards the very end, like after listening to what users, uh, what they have to share by themselves first. Yep. So in the first question, um, I thought maybe just let's ask them what is that they feel uh, or once they familiarize themselves with the uh, design that we provide them with, um, what do they feel about if it, whether or not the need is uh, like the, they're seeing things that they expected to begin with. And one uh, confusion that I still have is uh, how we are providing those designs to users. Uh, is Would that be in the form of a bill or just a JPEG? Just JPEG. Okay, so. The, um, yeah, the idea is just here's, here's the design, here's the proposal. Um, let's talk about it. Mm -hmm. We might even just do it as sharing the screen as opposed to a link to something. Okay. Then that means that we can, uh, we'll have to go some other way about uh, this question that I'm highlighting, which is about where yeah. they expect to see it. Hey, we could, um, we can do that with, here is the, the uh, <laughs> project summary page for the GitLab project. Mm -hmm. If you were looking for an overall quality view of this project, how, where would you go to find that? and yeah. walk them through yeah, the navigation and then they would hopefully understand, or they can walk us through their thought process of how they would go about finding it, where they would expect it to be. Um, yeah. I think that would be a good proxy for that. Okay. And the rest of the questions are pretty normal. Um, like what is it that, uh, what, how does this differ from what they had expected? Then what is it that they find most helpful uh, in the report? And then we'll move on to the second set of questions that you added, which is about uh, what they could live without and what they would not want to lose. Uh, those questions are very relevant to um, for moving towards closing that uh, discussion. Rewriting one of my questions in flight. <laughs> um, yeah, and then so you, I think we covered then the, actually, I think we can just delete those questions because they're covered in the questions above that. Okay. So if we just ask them, I mean, tell me about a time you had to do this. And then, because we've already got impressions from them about the design, we can ask them that open-ended right. question at the end. Mm -hmm. Is that how you want to? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can. Um, and then... Anything else? I'd ask one more question about just anything else you'd like to tell us about gathering 
be data gathering or something. Okay. Yeah, that helps. Projects. I think we should know. All right. And lastly, I want to ask, like, how do you want to do this? Um, would you want to share your Calendly link for this or can I share mine? Or should we share both and try to determine which is in which time zone so that we can uh, like yeah. cover a wider range? Um, I, I've started to share mine already with some of the folks, some of the customers that okay. we had talked to previously. So I have one already teed up for next week. Uh, okay. It is a, it's 8.30 my time, so it's pretty late for you, um, but I can have uh, somebody else also tag in for that as well, um, so that you're not okay. up late. All right. Uh, what I'll do is uh, I will keep the um, Dovetail project ready, and when I say ready, I mean that I'll uh, pick this scenario, which is there in this discussion guide, and keep all the... Um, let's say five set uh, ready so that you just have to fill in some information in the form of a table and that wouldn't be a lot of work. Perfect. Yeah, If um, sorry, to actually answer your question, why don't we use your Calendly mm -hmm. link for the recruiting that Caitlin is gonna do um, or okay. share both and whatever is gonna work better time zone wise for that participant, then we can do that. And I think we're just gonna have to, we'll rely on the recordings to get that second impression yeah. and take those notes um versus right. both of us being on the call at the same time where there's not the overlap in the time zones yeah definitely cool yeah we can do that uh, so that awesome. looks like um uh, we are set for this research Filling in a little bit on the agenda, answers to your questions about the JPEG and the mm -hmm. where would they find the question or where do they find the data? Mm -hmm. I, I actually will ping Caitlin today and see how recruiting is going. Um, I'm going to reach back out to the TAMs that I talked to the last two weeks uh, and mm -hmm. see what else, um, or if we can just get in touch with customers directly. I'm waiting to hear from a few of them. Um, and we'll go from there. Okay. Sounds um, good. I just want to circle back real quick to the design issue itself. Um, have you gathered feedback from other design folks at all, or is this just the initial feedback from Hayana and myself? I think right now, all I have is the initial feedback. I shared it twice. Um, I did not receive any feedback yet on any of the channels. Um, I'm thinking once we get some feedback from the research, then and, and once I make the changes, I will persistently go ahead and, um, I mean, reach out to specific people who work on dashboards. Uh, so I know some people who have worked uh, in the past and who are working now on dashboards. So I'll reach out to them, uh, have coffee chats maybe, and right. discuss about what changes uh, we can make. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about it being pixel perfect, um, considering it's an MVC and we're gonna add more data to this as we go. So that might be a great right. time for us to, if, if we learn that customers want more data on this, then it'll be a good time for us to right. consider a better holistic design potentially. But I think I would yeah. lean more towards the, can we get this done as quickly as possible, preserving quality yeah, so that sure. a user can use it versus it's absolutely perfect and the best design experience ever because we know it's gonna evolve is all. Right, yeah. Great, yeah, it's looking good. Yeah. I appreciate all your efforts so far and helping keep the, the research component moving as well. Great, all right then James. Awesome. Yeah. See. Bye. All right. Cheers.